here at the 51st BVI Spring Regatta at the beautiful Nanny Key Marina in the British Virgin Islands. Spring Regatta is a, a serious race. It's a it's million dollar playing field. It's fun, fun on the water, fun on shore. And that is the key to what we do. We're expecting a week of amazing racing with fabulous boats that have come from all over the world to come and sail in our beautiful waters. What I love about the Regatta Village is the community comes into the village as part of their social. You will see people in the village who you haven't seen all year round. There's something special about the BVI. Live bands, good food, good drinks, and amazing fun people here to share in the excitement of the Spring Regatta. We're looking forward to an amazing week of sailing here in the BVI. A shorter tackle the big issues affecting the BVI and the rest of the Caribbean. Searches for answers to today's big questions and gives viewers a unique perspective on developing stories. Follow the big story with me, Kathy Richards, only on GTV. This show is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa Nail and Barbershop, HOV Medical and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies and sports. This is The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition. Are we now just shaking off all the celebrations of Easter 2024. Uh, you would have seen I've been there on uh, Virgin Gorda for the Easter Festival. Boy, it was acted, but I'm good. <laughs> and so we're here now to transition into a different season. And this is uh, the big annual spring regatta that's on this year. This year. Uh, in studio with me is Dr. Catherine Smith, the Director of Culture here in the Virgin Islands. And we have another director uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, of a Creative Waves. Uh, ladies, welcome. Uh, thanks for coming by to Let's Talk. What's new this year with the BVA Spring Regattas? I uh, will kick off with you, Dr. Catherine. Mm -hmm. We understand that this year is happening in a way that has never happened before. Yes. Tell me. Um, it was exciting when we got, we had Culture got the call from Kaylee Smith, and what she wanted to do with this year's Spring Regatta was really highlight culture, Virgin Islands culture. And so we had our meeting and um, we talked about the many ways that we can do this. So um, at our meeting, we immediately called Sophie, Sophie Stanton of Creative Ways because we decided that it would be great to have a, a visual art exhibition, the maritime theme throughout, but not just our, our past, but presently what's going on. So we, we took a number of steps. Um, we want everybody to come down and support. Of course, we have heritage dancers, razor blades. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit in a little bit, but the maritime theme is also really exciting. Yeah, uh, we have a very, very rich yeah. maritime history. I remember taking a tour of the, uh, the department there at the college, yeah. and it was really interesting when you tell yourself, you know, okay, it's, yeah, it was floops, floops, and whatever, yeah. but when you go through uh, the museum there, it tells you a whole lot. And Sophie, we saw you <laughs> would have just uh, completed that massive art exhibition and a, a lot of the pieces spoke also about our rich culture in maritime industry. That's right of course it's a huge part of our culture here and something that's depicted often in artworks that we see at artist studios when we go to visit them and yes when um, Kathy called me and Kaylee they called me to say would I have any ideas about involving some of our contemporary local artists I jumped at it of course um, we've had such a success, as you said, with the Creative Waves Week, and I've been um, being asked time and again to do more. So this was the first opportunity, and so I leapt at it. Um, as Cathy said, and you rightly pointed out, we have a very, very important, very strong, rich cultural history here, which is depicted, I think, absolutely beautifully in the Narit Nat National Maritime Museum um, at, in Parakeeta Bay. 
And so initially we had thought, let's bring some of those historical pieces to Nanny Key, and we are going to do that because mm -hmm. it's important to recognize um, the, the sloop models that we have there, some of the photographs of them being built and assembled and um, how much of an important part of life it has been here for so long. But I also wanted to um, include and uh, make sure that it was represented more contemporary artists and, and their ways of working. Mm -hmm. um, and we thought an interesting way of doing this, which is what we did, is to put together a competition. Um, oh, yeah. uh, competition? And, <laughs> well, it's more like a commissioning opportunity, I would say. <laughs> um, so we put this out to the artist network here in the BVI, and we had we were inundated with amazing proposals. We, we, it was a really hard choice, yeah. wasn't it? We yes. sat there for ages one morning looking at all of yeah. these applications. Mm -hmm. And we only had three sales, so we had to choose three, but we've chosen three really beautiful. The artists have done absolutely amazing jobs. Um, they've taken oil paints and they've created their, their idea of representation of BVI's maritime history. So we've got the historical um, um, sort of figures there in place, the boats, uh, the workers, mm. the people on the docks, yeah. but in a very contemporary way yeah. um, on, across three sails which will be hung. Yeah. Um, but we also had an application from a group of people we just couldn't say no to, which is actually the BVI sailing community, right. um, <laughs> which was, um, th this project was led by Emmy and um, Liz, who are big figures of the national, of the sailing community here, mm -hmm. and they got together um, children, um, uh, active sailors, people who work currently in the industry, people who've retired from the industry. So a real representation of a cross-section of the diversity that, that is involved in the maritime industry here mm -hmm. to create something special just for us, which they have done, which I won't tell too much. You'll have to come and see it. Oh. Um, but it's really, very, very yeah. special and involves people involved in the sailing community from ages four right the way up to 93. And it's, I think it will be a bit 93. of a... Yes, yeah. yes. So it's. I think so it will become a, a national or treasure. Or it's actually that yeah, is actually some. Yeah, ninety-three year old participated wow. in this exhibition. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so I think it'll be something that Kathy yeah. can hold on to and use as part yeah. of the you know further things she does with the minister with the Department of Culture moving yeah. forward. You see how these things blossom it from one Definitely. thing it blossoms yeah. into something more beautiful, yes. and then it can even continue. Yeah. You know, as we, as we go along, now we can see yeah. uh, Spring Brigata taking on an even bigger. Girl, Definitely, uh, that's what uh, you yeah, said, sure, wasn't it? Years, yeah, years to come. Because we did even, even from this idea, we added more. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, we thought about okay, our maritime heritage, and then the with the rich maritime life that we have today. That's still a very much a big part of our culture. So when we looked at our maritime heritage, and you talked about the display from the Virgin Islands Maritime Museum, we would we would see the huge, you know, the sloop making industry, the iconic image that we have of our sloop, and you know, um, sailing, trading. We have some images that we mm -hmm. want to show yeah. with the different um, with the loads. There's, there's exactly. cows and yeah. and fruit and yeah. all these amazing things being sent off to yeah. other islands on yeah. these sloops. It's beautiful. But what was important I was. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. But we also wanted to focus, like she mentioned, on the contemporary, right? Mm. So what is our life today? You know, we're still captains. We still sail. There was quite an exciting, like, recreation life about the power, you know, these, um, the, the, the power boats, like sailing from island to island. That, you know, we visit the beaches. We work, actually, Virgin Islands do work in the yachting industry. We have a huge yachting industry. We're mm. the sailing capital of the world. Yeah. So how do we bring together our heritage with, with what's happening today and the rich um, and the w fishing? We still do, we do a lot of fishing. A lot's being made of fishing, fishing today and, and getting that started. So how do we bring that all together? How do we exhibit that and show that? But then in addition, um, we have some businesses that almost exemplify that. So this is really exciting. At the 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 um, opening, which is on Thursday, this Thursday at okay. 6 p.m., we've been working with Kaylee Smith, um, who organizes the Spring Regatta, to bring all of this there. We're going to really focus on. Well, we have the work of Bing Malone in his own right. I don't know if you want to say a few words about Bing Malone, and he he actually, along with the sales and that competition that was that was so exciting, they really exemplify the the movement from our rich heritage to, to the exciting, the dynamic, you know, kind of culture that we've created today around the sea and everything mm -hmm. about the sea. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have, there's a business called Imperial Shell Crafters 
this is Kevin Faulkner of Anagata, and I think Kevin Jurek, he lives in St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. And in Anagata, they, they, they sail, they dive, they get the queen conk in a very responsible, eth ethical manner mm -hmm. and make jewelry. Their store is at the Pear Park. They make yes, jewelry, conch yes, shell yes, lamps. Yes, so if yes, you think about our maritime yes, heritage yes. and it being represented today, I mean, what is what exemplifies it better, you know? Mm -hmm. We also are going to have a few children's books. Everybody should come out. If you love our maritime heritage, literally everybody across the territory and the sailors, I hope, are going to be there. If you love mm -hmm. our maritime heritage, we have, you know, Kimmy Go's series was just launched. Yes, yes. Kimmy Go's it's Island Hopping, Kimmy Go's Scrub. Oh, yes. Kimmy Go's Go to the to Beach. She's going to be there <laughs> yes. with her books. Yeah. We also have Jeff Brooks. Oh, he's just a longtime figure in the maritime world, and he wrote a book about how to, for children again, mm -hmm. how to build the Virgin Islands. Look, the story of Simu, and I don't know if you remember it. Mm. He was at, he used to be at the Virgin Islands Maritime Museum for the college for a very long time. So what I'm saying is that there's just going to be a lot represented there, and everybody should really come out. We're really transforming the, like at least the opening of the Spring Regatta, and they yes. have a lot of culture throughout it too. Okay, so it's yeah. the, the the displays and shows will stay throughout until the end of the Spring Regatta. No, because no? because of the nature of the Spring Regatta. Yeah, they have to break down to build up the yes, and yes. Um, all our very precious artwork. We don't want to leave out all night, so we are yeah. having. Thursday is the big opening, as, as Kathy yes. mentioned, uh -huh. but we are actually going to be there from earlier in the day because I wanted to make sure enough people can come and see the artwork. Awesome. Yeah. So we're actually going to aim to be ready to go and displayed and everything up by midday. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we have Bing coming, who, yeah. as Kathy said, is I think depicts our national maritime history so well. He has okay. a very, very ancient ships being painted right the way up to very, very modern fast boats, mm. yeah. and he does it very beautifully in his own unique oh, style. Can't wait to we see. have Lute Durant coming down yes. with a model of a sloop oh, done in. This in Steel, it's absolutely using amazing. Using copper, copper, copper wire, wires, he actually yes. has a model that he's he's just giving to us. He's lending to us, and to and, and it's a model of the sloop, and he used copper wiring. I'm just so excited. It's to amazing. See it. And then we have yeah. Ruben Vanterpool, a few yeah. of his. Again, that's just for exhibit and display. Yeah. Um, um, Kevin, as you've said, his sister's yeah. actually also an artist, so we might see if yeah. we can get her to bring a few things along. <laughs> Um, and then our amazing sales, which I'm so excited yes. to see, which will be um, revealed uh, on Thursday. But then yes. I think will be those will be shown in the future. That Kathy, through her, yeah. um, will be having th them displayed perhaps in other ports and so on. Yeah, we want to so expand know, moving that forward. Effort. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So the, the, the competition that you spoke of, mm. uh, they already you already know the winners. It's yes. So the winners, they oh yes, no, no, they've been working very, very hard for the last two weeks to create these sales. They're beautiful. I've got I have all four of them now ready to bring mm -hmm. down this week. They are amazing, and they're just different artists' adaptations and depictions of their views on, on maritime that. life. Mm. There's three large sails with uh -huh. unique things created specially for this yeah. initiative, yes. and then there's the sailing community sail as well. But yeah. all four of these sails, I hope, and I think um, what we have discussed is that they mm. will be displayed in other places around the BVI moving forward, okay. um, so that they can they can live on, and a little bit of a cultural legacy can be continue yeah. outside what of Regatta. Uh, they're about five or six feet tall, like okay. they're, they're fairly large, yes. Okay. Um, wow, wow. So they'll be on, on display, which will yeah. be amazing to see. We're yeah. really excited. All the better reason to be out there on Thursday, yeah. right? It's going to be a really fun day. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot to see. Bring the children, yeah. as you said, we've got authors coming. And yeah. then, of course, the regatta itself is just such a fun thing to visit. And, you know, <laughs> uh, so it should be a really yeah. fun day. And we're just so happy yeah. that we could play a part in it and get some more contemporary artists to to be part I of this as well. <laughs> but either way, yeah. either way, uh, from past experience, despite what the weather is, it's always a massive turnout out there um, mm -hmm. uh, for uh, the spring regatta, and a lot of people come up with this addition. I can mm -hmm. imagine. So, if you're planning now to go, now that you have planned to go, let me correct myself. <laughs> uh, go early. Go early so that you can tour the. The, the yeah. exhibitions and like Sophie you said you're going to be out there from about 11 10 11 ish 12 wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the artworks are arriving yeah. at 10 and we yeah. just need a couple of hours We'll and be ready for you guys. from 12, and you can meet some of the artists, yeah. and yeah, it should be yes. really, really fun afternoon. Yeah. I'm so excited. So from about 12, just come on over to the exhibition mm -hmm. in the village. Okay. It's at the village yeah. in Naniki. In Naniki. <laughs> yeah. Not Rotong. Yeah. In Naniki. Uh, okay. <laughs> Festival Village. Yeah. It's Naniki, Damsi Kaos Bay, uh, Thursday. Yeah. What date is Thursday? The 4th. 4th. April. The 4th of April. April. And the oh. opening is at 6 p.m. Yes, we went to a, a big splash of yeah. heritage dancers yeah. and the whole Razor lot Blades. more. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. 
and, and all of that. And I just wanted to say that the Department of Culture has really enjoyed working with these organizations. I just want to also thank Joanne Hill. She's our visual artist. She'll be working with Sophie. It's it's just a very it's a very good experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the board of, of Creative yeah. Waves is something that I I don't think Sophie knew what she was getting <laughs> yeah. into when she came up with that idea. But I can see this going a, a, a Yeah, we have a lot of plans. Yes. Lo lots of things. For the exhibition, you guys did well, right? Yeah, the art exhibition's been amazing. We've got some art classes coming up. We have another um, we we have another commission opportunity coming up um, okay, in about a month save, with another organisation. <laughs> so yeah, let's here let's talk, talk about, more about that. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. As Thank soon you. As we get it all together. So remember this Thursday mm -hmm. uh, from noon straight through the night <laughs> is the uh, opening of uh, the BVI Spring Regatta 2024, and uh, for the very first time. It's a big uh, culture hullabaloo, <laughs> all right? <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you there. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank ladies, you for having for us. By thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars and power are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands.